Alright guys, so we'll be taking a look at Pokemon Red. It's kind of like a Game Boy gem. The game came with a case. I chose Red over Green because this game was far more cheaper than Green. And like I spent about 7, Green was about 15. And Green got cancelled. And we'll be playing it. Now, this game, for some reasons, just wasn't in the European or American markets. I'm talking about Green. This one did come out in America, but it was released as... Well, it was different, with far different sprites and many glitches are fixed. Let's see. Red and Green, they first came out together simultaneously February 1995. Another version blue would come out October 10th, 1995. Uh, according to Bulbapedia, um, blue version was only sold to Koro Koro, which I believe was a magazine in Japan. Um, the game will obviously, but it happens to be Japanese. So, why would there be English in here? The reason, like, red and green are so popular these days is because Lavender Town Syndrome, I buy it just for to learn Japanese and to relive some memories. Lavender Town Syndrome is like completely false. You could just check out uh, Tomashi's Hiroka's video. Alright? No. Well, this game will work on just about every single Game Boy system, except for the Micro, because Micro doesn't play these games. And I got, uh, Pocket Monsters Kin, or, yeah, Kin. I'm gonna try to catch them all, right? And since there's pretty low lighting here, I'll play with this one. How to do it one-handed. Now let's play some pocket monsters. Um, oh my god, what this? You can, you guys can see it, right? Here's a slew of the different sprites. The sprite happened to be in Game Boy Kit. Not this one. But just let it idle here for a bit. Just to give you a taste of the different sprites. Um let's see. I'm really sorry for the useless information, it's just I got nothing better to say. Now, I have no proof this is the V V1.0, but there it happens to be a glitch where you can raise all your Pokemon to 100 instantly. All you need is a fourth move on the Pokemon. Are you back? Alright, to do this glitch, you press so open up the menu, go to your, the third list, third option from the top, or the items, press select on the seventh item. Now, um, Press B twice. Get into an encounter with the wild Pokemon. Let's see. Yes, I battled this goober. He's a camper, I believe.
No. You swap it by pressing select on the first item move, then you just attack regular. Um. Yeah, that's a bad sprite, but graphics don't make the game. Well, um, if you're having some trouble and you don't have any, if you don't have this game to trade to, then I suppose just do this glitch. Is that it? Because I'm not keeping it, I'm going to be legit. All credit goes to Chickasaurus, Chickasaurus GL. Mm, there will be an annotation right here, just to let you know. Now, uh, trading between the English counterparts is near impossible because, well, at the time, the Game Boy cards, the memory is kind of small, so there's not enough room for, well, let's just say, even though the game codings for the languages and stuff are different, it's the, it still detects another cartridge, so it lets both players into the room. But since of the difference between the carts, the game does not know what to do, and it will instead crash. So, unless you care about your save, don't really do it. To cut to the chase, this is really just the same as red and green, or blue. Just a little different, you know, the Doko Kashira door glitch. And, uh, if you have English versions of red and blue, then I suggest you get this. You also get this game as well, too. There's some differences, too. But they're sprites, I believe. Comment, rate, subscribe. And 100% uh, inspiration comes.